I'm here on stage at the IRT finding out all the secrets of this year's A Christmas Carol. So I, I want to introduce you to a couple of the actors. That way we can get a taste of what it's like to be them. With me now is Ashley and Reggie. You guys, thanks so much for having us on. Tell me what roles you play in this year's play. I play Belle and Felicity. And, and I play Fred, her husband, and uh, maybe one of the ghosts. Which one? We don't know. He's a, we're going to get him to tell us uh, here in just a minute. But tell me what it's like from your angle to be. This is your second play, right, Ashley? What is it like to be Belle and Felicity? I love doing this play every year. I think it's such a special experience. We do over 60 performances of this show, and half of them are for student matinees. So we get to do this show for a lot of the younger generation, and to see the joy on their faces, it's really a special experience. I'm curious, with that, how fast do you guys have to change? What, is it like crazy, the night very, of the performances? Very, very, very fast, very fast. Um, with the show being done by 12 adult actors and five youth actors, there's lots of there's lots more characters than just those 17 people on stage so sometimes there are folks thankfully we have a great stage management team to help us change clothes in as little as 35 seconds and you have to run on with a new wig and a new everything and you're a, a completely different person and then you have to come back and you're somebody else and it's 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 its own show backstage <laughs> that's awesome sure. we all need their help getting ready for work in the morning <laughs> right yes. uh-huh so tell me a little bit then about the camaraderie amongst all the actors I love doing this show with this group of actors. Yeah. Last year was a lot of fun, but it's a totally different experience with different actors. And, you know, we um, we have the Fezziwig party every day, and <laughs> we have something new every day happen. And so we keep it fresh and exciting, and we never know quite what's going to change just a little bit here and there. But I would say the Fezziwig party, if you're coming to see this show, just look for little special things that happen here and there. If you watch mm. one person in particular, maybe Mr. Fezziwig does something a little different every day. <laughs> okay, we'll keep an eye out for him. Is the audience energy? different during every performance and how does that affect you guys yeah I mean what's so great is there are so many folks in the audience who have come to see the show 10 15 25 30 times but every time they're just like so filled with wonderment every time Scrooge walks on or when the music starts and there are you know new things every year like when the snow falls people just get so excited and you know we've done this 40 times by now and it, it still feels fresh and new every time you hear a child gasp. It's like, it, it really makes it, it feel very, very magical. <laughs> That's yeah. wonderful. So Reggie, I have to say, we can't claim you as an Indianapolis native, right? You came Not to yet. us from where? Not yet. I'm here from New York. I'm on loan from oh. New York for, <laughs> for a few more weeks, but it's been really, really great to play in the, in the snow with everybody here. It's been nice. Okay, we love that you're here, and I won't disclose what your role is. That way everybody can look You'll for you. You'll find out about it in the future, maybe. In, in the future is the hint. Okay, <laughs> I know one of the questions that everybody's wondering, I wondered the first time I came and saw it, is the snow. What is it made of? Where does it come from? How do you guys like playing in it? It is actually made out of the same material as plastic bags. Um, and we have uh, 35 boxes of snow on this stage, weighing over 1,000 pounds. Wow! Now tell me something. I've heard that it goes home with you. Is that true, yes, Reggie? People have told me that I'm going to be finding snow in my apartment up until like April of next year. No, it's 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 great. It's really fun. It falls sometimes in your eye. Like there was today on stage, one of the actors had like tears in his eyes, and I was like, "Are you okay?" And he's like, "No, it's just snow in my eyeball." <laughs> this is a moving moment, yeah. isn't yeah. it? Yeah, it's, it's like really no, it's just snow. snow. Uh, attack of the attack of the snow, but it's it's so much fun, and and it it totally sells the the winter wonderlandness. And there's also a fun moment with Scrooge and the audience at the end of the show every every night uh, with the snow too. So, it's it's. Fun for everybody. <laughs> okay, there are so many reasons we have to come, so many secrets for you to look for. We can get tickets where? At IRTLive.com. You can come to the ticket office in person. You can call the phone number on the website. Uh, there are many ways to get tickets. All right, make sure and do that right now. But first, what is it that makes this play so magical other than yourselves? There's a certain special little element. What is it? I mean, it's the kids. It's the kids. <laughs> it's the, kids. the kids are the magic. The kids are absolutely the magic. Yeah. yeah. Okay, sure. we want to see a couple of them now. You guys, thank you so much. Oh, I can't go. wait to watch you this year. Hey. Hi, look at all of them. Oh, you guys look so awesome. All right, I want to just go down the lineup, and you tell me your name and what role you play in A Christmas Carol. I am Dalen, and I play Peter and Lamplighter. Peter and Lamplighter. I'm Jordan, I play Belinda. I'm Camille, I play Betsy. 
Um, I'm London and I play Henrietta. I'm Kate Boyce and I play Tiny Tim. Tiny Tim, oh my goodness, they're all so wonderful. All right, Tiny Tim, how do you like being in your role? It is an amazing role. It's definitely hard because I have to have a broken leg, but it's very, very fun because he connects with the audience in many different ways. Tiny Tim touches everyone's heart, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. Definitely. I think that's because everybody can relate to him because he always thinks of the positive in every situation. He sure does. We all need more Tiny Tim in our lives. Tiny Tim, if I can call you that, do you want to know what my Christmas wish is this year? What is it? It is to make snow angels in this snow. How does that sound? Yes. <laughs> okay, can you guys show me? I'm gonna hop right in, woohoo! All right, well, it's my family tradition. Make it yours, don't miss the magic. Get your tickets now at IRT Live. We can't wait to see you here.